Big deal, right? Well, this is the beginning to a cargo extraction system. But these parts are all laser cut. The switch is wired as a reversing switch to return it back into the plane. This switch could be used as a shutoff switch and just cycle one time. It's made with a standard servo, standard Fataba servo, plastic gears, and it'll push a three pound weight. More than you'd ever need. The electronics are taken out of the servo and all we're using is the motor and the gearbox. Now the way you apply the system is put the load in in the airplane's belly. When the back door opens, it makes a micro switch and pushes the load out of the back end of the airplane. Now unless you're a better pilot than I am, the problem is the load flies uh, flies about inside the airplane in zero G, so you have to put a rack in the airplane. It would screw to the cargo floor. The load is on a pallet and slides into the rails. I'm using plastic here. You could use light ply or aircraft grade ply to make that happen. And then it pushes the pushes it out. It closes and shuts off the power, and the load's gone. Now the problem is getting the parachute to open after it's left the airplane. You don't want it opening right away or inside the cargo compartment. So what we have is a rubber band holding the parachute to the front of the truck. As the, air, as the cargo falls away from the airplane, a string is attached to a pin that's attached to the airplane. Whenever the pin gets pulled, the rubber band comes loose and the parachute opens and the truck falls to the ground. Normally the pins are dangling outside the airplane but nobody can see it. Now the, you can push more than one vehicle out of your cargo plane depending on the cargo space that you have. The trucks weigh about a half a pound each. And I did show these intentionally so that the parachute should be large otherwise it, the, it would ruin the whole effect if it had a real small chute or if it floated away because they're too light. Now if trucks aren't your thing you can go with paratroopers. I've got four loaded in this cartridge you can have as many as eight if you're careful how you pack them. The problem is it litters the sky with parachutes and you really should let the other pilots know what your intentions are before you let them out. The cartridge goes into the same rack that the truck does and Velcro, a Velcro strip prevents the stick from pushing the entire cartridge out of the airplane because you want the guys out one at a time open the door and the cycle begins pushes the pilots out the back in the past my stick was too short and I always had one parachute hanging up at the back door all I had to do was kick the rudder a couple times and he would fall off with the rest of the paratroopers this is the cargo my cargo door micro switch it it makes the contact when the door is open all the way. This is the adjustment for the door switch and the servo that operates the door. I'm going to do a run. I've got a connector right here that goes to the reversing switch and this is the servo that you saw earlier. When the door opens, the cargo goes out the back end. Return, and by then you've closed the door and the system is the cycle's complete. And here's another view.